State lawmakers are trying once again to legalize alcohol sales at Michigan State and the University of Michigan sporting events. Yeah, this has been tried before, but this time the sponsors of the bill even have the support of local bars. As our Capitol correspondent Tim Skubik reports, the governor is nervous about this proposal. The debate over the legalized sale of alcohol at MSU and the U of M during sporting events is being framed in part as a fairness issue. As the sponsors of the legislation point out, the fans in the suites have access to booze, while the fans in the seats do not. DeWitt Representative Graham Filler, who failed to get this done last year, is now back with some new restrictions designed to help the competition with local bars on game day. For example, MSU hockey would be limited to 25 days of sales, buying booze at a b-ball game would be a slam dunk for only 50 days, and football fans would score a drink or two for 10 days during the season. And the actual sale would be limited to one hour before the game, during the game, and a half hour afterwards. So far, seven of the Big Ten schools have legalized these sales, but this won't happen here until and unless Governor Gretchen Whitmer signs off. The governor has some concerns, especially at an 8 p.m. football game, for example. I used to look at, like, that sounds like a lot of fun. And over the last, I don't know, 15 years, especially during the time when I was prosecutor, I look at that and think, that's, that's a recipe for disaster. It makes me nervous. So with fans drinking before the game and during the game, if alcohol is legalized, this question, governor. You favor it? Oh, I anticipate that if the bill gets to my desk one of these days, I would sign it, yeah. And I read into that answer, you're not totally comfortable with that, Governor. Well, you know, alcohol makes everything a little more challenging. The first House hearing on this measure is set for April 11th. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.